Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to be doing some examples on binomial coefficients. So getting started, let's just go over the binomial coefficient formula. So this is the definition of binomial coefficient. Here we have this nice little notation a, b in parentheses kind of looks like a choose b. And it equals a factorial over b factorial times a minus b altogether factorial. So um, I'm not going to go over the proof of this definition. Today we're just going to be going through some examples and seeing this in practice since I know um, I know a lot of people like like to see examples and that helps them you know uh, visualize how these things work. So let's do our first example which is okay show that n3 minus n2 equals n times n minus 1 times n minus 5 over 6 for all n greater than or equal to 5. So to start this problem we're going to just focus on the left side and manipulate this to see if we can somehow get this right hand side. So taking our left hand side we have this and I went ahead and wrote the binomial coefficient formula in this upper right hand corner so we can use it as a reference. Um, so applying this definition to the first term n th n3 um, we should get so n replaces the a and 3 replaces the b in this definition so we should get something like n factorial over 3 factorial times n minus 3 quantity factorial so you can see clearly that the n replaces the a and the 3 replaces the b in our definition now doing it to this the next term n2 we get something very similar n factorial over 2 factorial times n minus 2 factorial so now we can further simplify this um, by m playing with these factorials so when you have um, factorials in the numerator and the denominator you should always consider the fact that they might cancel, especially when you have these n terms. So thinking about what n factorial means, let's just write out that the actual definition of n factorial, which is n factorial is n times n minus 1 times n minus 2 times n minus 3 dot 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 all the way to 1. So essentially n factorial um, can you can write it as n times n minus 1 times n minus 2 times n minus 3 factorial which will help us simplify the first term which will give us something like this so I turned this oops I turned this into this because these are the same and I chose to stop at n minus 3 factorial because we have it in our denominator. And in the next step, that'll help us simplify. So we'll just do the next, the same thing for the next term. So doing the same thing for this um, next term, we can you guess what the numerator will turn into? So basically it'll be the same as this first term, but instead of stopping at n minus 3 factorial, we'll stop one step ahead and we'll stop at n minus 2 factorial. It equals the same thing, but it's just written differently. And we're doing n minus 2 because we have n minus 2 in the denominator, and now we can cancel, cancel these things, like so. Oops, wrong tool. Ugh. Excuse me. 
Now we can cancel these. And we are left with left with a much simpler um, uh, problem right here. So let's go forward and simplify this even more. So we have we have n times n minus one times n minus two over three factorial and n times n minus one over two factorial. So that's what we're left with after um, simplifying and canceling out those the extra factorial in the denominator. So now um, simplifying or working these through, the denominators at the bottom turn into six and two because three factorial is equal to six, two factorial is equal to two. Now we can combine these two terms using a common denominator of six. So that just means we have to multiply this on this right hand term by three times three. So the denominator will be six and the top, the numerator will just be multiplied by three. So we end up getting something that looks like, like this, just this numerator minus 3n times n minus 1 over 6. So now we have one, um, one, one quotient here, and we can just simplify this even further, just noticing that we have an n times n minus 1 here and an n minus n minus 1 here, n times n minus 1, so we can factor that out. And factoring that out, we get n times n minus 1 times n minus 2 minus 3. Um, so we can further simplify this by um, finishing this up, which will give us n times n minus 1 times n minus 5 over 6. So if we go back to our problem, that's exactly what the problem wanted for us to show. This n times n minus 1 times n minus 5 over 6. And double checking, that is exactly what we have. So we have shown that, um, okay, we have shown that n 3 minus n2 equals n times n minus 1, n minus 5, over 6. Bahoo! So that is a simple example of a binomial coefficient. Um, I will go ahead and do another example, a little more, um, a less concrete example, but this, the steps are very similar, um, so we'll just move on to doing that.